One person is dead in Dallas County, and there are several injuries reported as a result of tornadoes and high winds Tuesday night. The first reports of the storm started in Dallas County at 11.56 p.m. when a tornado was reported on the ground two miles southwest of Buffalo, where one house and three barns were destroyed. The next report of damage was close to the same area at 12.05 a.m., where multiple homes were destroyed in the same general area by what was most likely a tornado reported by Dallas County Emergency Management Office. At 12.19 a.m., severe thunderstorms and wind damage was reported close to Bennett Springs in Laclede County, where 15 trailers were rolled. At 12.20 a.m., debris, structure damage, trees, and power lines down near Highway 32 and Highway A southwest of Lebanon. Also, tracker trailers was blown off I-44 from a possible tornado. Then at 12.25 and 12.28 a.m., a tornado was reported on the ground by a trained spotter and a Laclede County fireman two miles southwest of Lebanon. Today, the National Weather Service officials will be touring Laclede County to assess damage and determine officially if we had a tornado or just severe straight-line winds. said that there was a tornado touchdown uh, headed towards Bennett Springs and my daughter ended up running in at the same moment because she heard a noise that scared her which I think was the tree breaking and almost went through her bedroom and uh, then we heard hell and we went down run downstairs my youngest daughter she was on crutches and uh, she forgot about her crutches and just went <laughs> And uh, it took our garage, a bunch of trees down in the back. Um, my truck got the tree rolled over it. Yeah. Oh my! Damaged it. Yeah, damaged it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What time was this? Uh, about 12:30. I was glad everybody was okay, and then I went to check on the outside and seeing the tree gone, and the wind died down a little bit. Yeah, the her purpose was the wife and I planned on retiring in about five years or so and thought we'd grab this and just sell our house, get a condo in St. Louis and use this to come down here or travel a little bit to Branson area and stuff and just travel around and just enjoy ourselves for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And, now, and then Yeah, and this. You know, I've had a camper sitting here for years. I just bought this in the uh, late summer. And put it down here. I had an old camper, 2000 year camper sitting there, and just sold it, bought this, and brought it down. And that one sat there for how long, Mike? You think? Uh, 15 years? Probably about yeah, 15 about 15 years. years it sat there with nothing, nothing just ever happened. Got this one. Just sold it and bought this one. And boom, there it went. This was our, this was what we were going to use. We were going to try to get it, you know, established and done, and so we could just drive around and yeah. so yeah. it is an act of God. Uh, I believe you know, it'll you know, work out. I guess. It's an act of God that nobody was here, and I just appreciate the fact that nobody was here, and the Lord was looking out for us by having nobody here, because we got a lot of friends in this area and uh, at this campground. We meet people down here from all ages and all areas, and you know, uh, again, it's you know after being sick, I just really believe this was an act of God. We were down here at this time as many times as we come down here. We come down here at least every other weekend in the summer, at least. I've sat here, many storms sat at the fire pit, watched the storms split around us and stuff, and just, you know, 15 years, just in this one spot, we were borrowed. My mom and dad had us down here when we were just you know, 10 months old, a year old, had us down here fishing, and had us in the playpen next to her, but she was fishing off the whistle <laughs> bridge. So, you know, again, it's, it's God will take care of it. I'm, I'm sure of that.
I've lived here since uh, 2000, no, 1997. 1997.